Hello again, this is Captain John with another one of my video tips of the week. Imagine that we want to enter St. Thomas Harbor in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Let's take a look at a large-scale chart of St. Thomas Harbor. Before we get started, let's take a look under the title block. Notice this chart of St. Thomas Harbor will be on a scale of 1 to 10,000 and soundings will be in feet at mean lower low water. Now let's start to the south on Water Island and take a look at the aids of navigation on our starboard side. You have an aid of navigation off of Druff Point, which is a green number one, which shows a flashing green four second light. Inside Flamingo Bay, you have red number two, a flashing red two and a half second, and green number three, a flashing green two and a half second. Note the abbreviation PRIV that accompanies each of these buoys. This means private maintained. These aids of navigation might not be maintained to the same standards as those maintained by a government agency like the U.S. Coast Guard. So you would want to use caution as you pass these buoys during nighttime hours. Inside Druv Bay, you have two black squares that show platforms and numerous mooring buoys. These will not be lighted at night, so you want to use caution if you enter Druv Bay during nighttime hours. Our next lighted aid to navigation will be off Providence Point. Red number four shows a flashing red two and a half second light. Take a look at this unique buoy to the north of Sandy Point. This is called a preferred channel buoy. Note how the diamond shape of the buoy symbol has been broken into two parts with a horizontal line. This means this buoy will be painted with horizontal bands. Take a look at the first part of the buoy characteristic which shows RG. This buoy will be painted with red and green horizontal bands. The top uppermost band will be red. You want to use this buoy the same way you would use a solid red buoy. Proceeding from seaward, you would keep this buoy on your right side. The buoy name, GC, will be found in quotation marks and it carries a group flashing 2 plus 1 red light every 6 seconds. You can see Sandy Point Rock designated by the dangerous 3-foot shoal and there's also a REC dangerous to surface navigation with the abbreviation PA which means position approximate. Our final buoy, G number 3, flashing green 4 second, marks a dangerous intertidal shoal off Banana Point. Now you know some of the characteristics of aids of navigation found in St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Use these easy sailing tips to help you sail safer on the waters of the world, wherever you choose to sail or cruise. This is Captain John, and this has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more sailing tips and techniques on www.skippertips.com.